So let's kick things off. What were your favorite moments of this experience? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have a different opinion with that in terms of uh, what Jamie is going to say, but uh, I actually really enjoyed uh, being a nobody and just to see um, really uh, who I was really generally connecting with, right? Um, you cannot leverage your, your status, your, your career, uh, what you have achieved and, and now you just have to make conversations and and try and win someone over or try and impress a person on a, uh, in a very normal way and uh, yeah personally I enjoyed it it was an experience so that was personally uh, for me uh, yeah the whole overall experience was uh, was interesting uh, yeah t totally disagree with that but <laughs> I mean, look, there were so many amazing moments. There really was, like, so many things that we got to do, um, the dates that we went on, um, the interactions with, you know, in, in the apartments and the fun that we had in and around, you know, the, the house with everyone. I'd have to say, really and truthfully, my favourite part was being with the five guys. Now, I know that sounds a bit, you know, a bit silly because we was on a dating show, but... Meeting the five guys and having the personalities all come together and the camaraderie and the friendship that we created over the you know over the the month that we were together was absolutely amazing. We're all still really close, you know. Now we we speak all the time, so just it felt like I was back in a dressing room again. You know, I, for me, I was you know I was retired when I, when I've done the show. The guys, some of them were still playing, but for me, it felt like I was back in a dressing room with the guys again. You know, having banter every day. You know, talking. Um, and just creating them friendships like five footballers, five guys together, you know, living the dream. Um, but that for me was my most, that was the most favorite part for me, the friendship that I've got with, with everyone, apart from Lloyd. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Marco. I'm, I'm the same. I just started with these two guys and, and a lot of favorite moments, uh, amazing moments, but one of the things is meet people like, like, like Jimmy said, like, like meet people like this, no, like, like, like the girls, but of course start with these four guys is, it's another part of, of your life, no, is we, we have to use like my whole life, just meet people in, in the soccer fields and the dress room and just talking about soccer and just talking about what you do every day. But sometimes you have to put a, a what, what is your, your real life and and somebody like you understand like like you like you professional like like these guys. So I live it really a bigger moments with these guys. They they know already inside how the the conversation like the the deep conversation very very hard and, and sometimes you you feel like it's your family, you know. Even if you after it, uh, everywhere is in another part of the world, but uh, you 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 meet a new family, and it is like yeah. a, the moment that you have in your car and your mind. And sometimes you can't describe how you feel because this everything is new for us, and the beginning is really difficult, of course. But my favorite moment is is be part of this of this um, show and be part of the meet the, this 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 type of guys. I love that friendship. Well, Friendship for yep. all. <laughs> Wonderful. Bros so, love. what was it like giving up the power? You know, because mm. y'all have power usually. What was it like? I'm going to start with Jamie. <laughs> yeah. So, for me, it was an absolute disaster, like an, a nightmare. Like, I hated it. Um, I knew what I was signing up for. I knew that I was going in there, you know, to, to give up that power. But I'll be honest, I wish I had the power. I realized very quickly mm -hmm. that um, being known and everyone knowing who you are and, and being able to use the status a little bit is kind of an advantage. And, you know, when you're up against four other guys, because, it, it, you know, we're all up against each other in a way. We're trying to find someone that we really like, but they, we didn't have the power to choose. These girls, you know, were choosing Lloyd. They were choosing, you know, Ryan. They were choosing Sebastian. Uh, and me and Marco are sat there like, what what's the point in us being here? Like, is is this is this is getting stupid? It's getting ridiculous. So, I I, I hated it. It was a disaster. But I, I I also understood why they were doing it because we were trying to find someone who who wanted us for us. But I wanted to be the football star. <laughs> 
<laughs> How about you, Marco? Yeah, it's like it's like I said before, it's like uh, without power and without like uh, the life that we have, uh, it's like you, you feel naked, no? It's like really, really hard uh, because this confidence that you, you have and, and, and you you need some time. It's a different personalities, you know, and of course, Lol and Sebastian and they, the girls start to date them and they're like, okay, but I cannot say who you are. Like they have to use in the normal life. Sometimes they come to you because, ah, you are Marcus Fayan, you are Ryan Babel, like, yeah, it's a good player, whatever. And they are, you cannot talking about that. So it's, it, it's really hard. And then some moments, in my opinion, in myself, I think they know, I just take like away. I just go behind uh, uh, Ryan, behind Sebastian, and it's like, a, okay, if some girl just take me, it's okay. But if you know that I cannot do nothing, no, I it's like if he, I don't have hands and I cannot move it, I I feel sometimes like this. So it's very hard. I know try to to be you without like you can say you you relax. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And Ryan, you kind of said it was more positive, correct? Well, look, I, I, I like a good challenge. And um, yes, of course, I, I, I'm definitely a person who likes to be in control. Um, however, uh, for me, it was a good challenge to, I didn't have the power to still show some type of personality that if you weren't seen at the beginning, then eventually you would get seen, right? And um, I think slowly with definitely a few of the girls, um, I think, um, I mean, I'm not going to say no names right now, but uh, I saw them slowly changing right from direction because the guy that they initially picked somehow was not maybe behaving how they would hope for. And then they had to look. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, yeah, you know, they, they, they started to get to know all of us and then they started to have a change of heart. So I was confident that that would eventually happen. Uh, so for me, it was, like I said, yeah, maybe a little bit more positive. I, I had time. I was just seeing and observing and, and, and I was not so aggressive like, like some of the other guys. <laughs> and you handled, I will say, you handled the wrong flag thing very, very well. Because I saw her say that and I was like, that's not right. That's oh. not. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was a yeah. that was a big talking point. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, thank she, you all. But she was the best oh. one. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate your time and you. um your honesty and your candor and sharing your vulnerabilities in this show. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.